In this video, you are going to learn how to edit like Kellogg, the famous photographer on Instagram and his work is really amazing and I got the inspiration for this particular tutorial from this image itself and I've created this image by getting the inspiration from this image. So I've tried to give it a similar look but in my own way and with my own style. So this is what we are going to learn in this tutorial coming up. everyone i am harsh Vardhan and welcome to another superb episode this is a behind the edit video where i'll guide you what steps i took in order to edit this image and turned it into something like this so basically you will not learn the step by step process but actually you will learn about the steps which i personally took in order to create this image so i'll show you everything so basically you are going to learn how to give this kind of a effect to any image using various textures overlays and blend mode techniques which you are going to learn in this video and before we go any further if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider so because here you will find lots of tutorial on photography photo editing and much more and if you have not followed me on Instagram, please do follow me on Instagram and my profile is at Harshwardhan Art. On Instagram, I keep on posting my latest work plus some photography and photo editing related tutorials, some question answer and if you have any question, you can ask me right there as well. And I keep on posting these kind of answer and questions from you guys. So please do follow me. So having said that, let's get started. So this is the image which I initially took. You can literally take any image and you can apply this kind of effect. So the first thing which I did, I just created a duplicate copy of it by pressing Ctrl J Command J. And then I went to the filter and selected the camera raw filter or you can simply press Ctrl Shift A. That is the shortcut keyboard command. And after that, I just went to the presets. These are my presets. So this one is my preset cinematic magic cyan orange Harshwardhan art. So you can download this magical preset from the link in the description section below from my website. So I just selected this one and then I went to the basic one over over here. And I just bring down the exposure a little bit and just double click so that the contrast is also set to the normal and highlights as well to the shadows and to the whites as well right and thereafter i lower down the vibrance and lower down some saturation to something like this and thereafter i just pressed ok and that image was opened over here and you can see this image is right over here i have cropped this image later on so you can see this is the image finally which i got okay and thereafter what i did i just created a depth mask so basically if you are trying to put some texture or some kind of overlays to an image and if you want to give it a proper depth like on the face you can see this kind of a where you where the texture is wrapped around the face or these 3d texture or 3d surface of the face then you need to use this technique this technique is called the displacement mask or uh, displacing the textures on particular image right so for that purpose what i did first of all i just merged this together okay and thereafter i went to the filter blur and choose the gaussian blur and i have selected the radius of one and thereafter i pressed ok and thereafter i just desaturated the entire image or made it black and white so how you can do this you can press ctrl shift u and that is the shortcut keyboard command ctrl shift u or command shift u so using this technique you can turn any colored image into a black and white or you can uh, literally desaturate the entire image so this is how you will get this one and thereafter 
I went to the file and select save as and selected the PSD from this which is by default and I just renamed it as displacement okay so I just entered the displacement so that I get to know that this is a displacement mask which I'm going to use later on for the purpose of blending the textures properly all right so then after I pressed cancel and then I close this image and open the same image in a new tab and thereafter I started from here all right so it was uh, the full image let me show you the full image so the actual image was this full image all right and thereafter what I did I just placed this texture which is over here let me just turn off the entire all right so I'll show you one by one so this is the texture file and uh, this is the normal texture file all right and what i basically did this is the opacity full opacity you can see and disable the mask so this was the texture which i used and what i did i first of all placed it over here on the face because i want this only this kind of a texture only on the face so what i did thereafter i selected this i went to the filter and selected the distort and selected the displace and thereafter this is a default value which you will get horizontal scale 10 vertical scale 10 and stretch to fit and select the uh, repeat as pixel and once you will press ok it is going to open up and you have to now select the displacement mask which we have earlier selected or which we have saved so you need to select that and you thereafter you will select the open and once you will do that it would wrap around the image but you won't see anything like this before you either just lower down its opacity so that you can see that it is now wrapping around the face properly or you can do you can change this layer plan more to either color dose or linear dose or in this case I have used the overlay all right and then I lower down its opacity to something like this okay and thereafter I just created a mask over here and masked it out so let me show you the mask I have masked around the face so where I want to make this texture visible I just painted over there with the white color all right so now this image or this texture is only applying over here and thereafter I just use the color balance adjustment and you can see I try to give it a different uh, hue so I just increase the cyan to the red side and magenta to the this side this lighter this side and the yellow to plus two okay and similarly i did with the shadows i increase the red so you can see using this technique you can change the colors and even magenta so basically this is not an hard and fast tool so you have to just experiment and get the result you want all right so you have to basically play with these sliders and you will get the result if you like that result you can go for that all right and thereafter I just open the levels command and I did some leveling so earlier it was something like this you can see so I brought it in and then it became something like this okay so that it just wraps around the face properly all right so this is how you can play with the levels command and thereafter I just placed another texture so this is the another texture let me show you let me first disable the mask so this is the sky normal this is the normal sky you can see okay so i place this texture and just by pressing ctrl t i resize it so that it is visible only over here on the face all right and thereafter i went again to the filter displays and did the same technique and selected the displacement mask which we have saved and the same was also worked over here okay and thereafter i change this layer blend mode to color doge okay and lower down its opacity to something like this and created a mask and painted with the 
black color over here so that it's not visible over here you can see earlier it was looking over here it was visible over here which was not looking great so i just removed that all right and thereafter i place the another texture so this is the another texture this another texture file and repeated the same process so let me show you this is the normal texture and placed it on the face again applied to the filter displays and use the displacement mask and all that and just did uh, the same thing okay with this one as well and lower down its opacity to 42 percent and change the layer blend more to color dose okay and th thereafter i place the another texture all right so this one is done and then i place another this bokeh texture so let me show you this was the bokeh texture and this is this is the bokeh texture so basically uh, I applied the same technique which I used earlier I showed you I went to the filter displays and did the same thing and thereafter I created a mask and masked around where I want to make this visible all right and change this layer blend mode to screen because it is on the black uh, background so if you just create a screen blending mode or change the screen blending mode then black would be out only the rest of the colors will be visible all right and lower down its opacity okay so it was something like this thereafter i placed another texture image so this is the another bokeh texture image you can see the same thing let me disable the texture mask and show you the normal one so this is the again the normal texture and you can download all of these texture from the link in the description section below let me undo it so that I get the desired result okay and thereafter I placed another texture which is again this one so let me show you this is the another texture I apply the same technique and once it is done you can see now this one is looking I group them together so that you can see that this is one group so after placing all of these textures on the image I got this kind of a result all right and I have just kept this thing in mind that it should not cover the eyes and I tried to just paint the texture properly so that it's visible on the face where I want it okay and thereafter I created a color balance adjustment layer which is over here and the settings which I did for this is you can see I increase the reds to plus 15 and magenta minus 14 and plus 4 for the blue and thereafter i change the channel to the shadows and in the shadows i added minus 21 cyan plus 5 magenta and plus 6 EA blue okay and thereafter the highlights and it i have not touched it anything all right and thereafter i got this kind of a result and thereafter i created one curves adjustment so this is a curves adjustment you can see i have created an s curve so basically it boosts the colors and the contrast i created one point over here and one point over here and drag it to down and drag this one to up so this is going to create more texture to the or more contrast and boost the colors in the image you can see and thereafter i create one vibrance adjustment layer and increase the vibrance you can see to plus 47 and plus 9 saturation so that gave me more colors more richer colors you can see and thereafter i created one hue and saturation layer adjustment layer and in this i increase the saturation and change the master to plus one all right i increase the saturation to plus 16 and i got even more warmer or the warmer red tone on the face or on these colors and thereafter i placed another this texture this is a paint spatter so this is the actual paint i masked this out from here and placed it over here so it was looking a little bit more dramatic this way and thereafter i placed another texture image so this is the another paint toes okay and 
I have masked it to remove this part and placed only this part. And I created a colors balance adjustment on this or you can simply access to it by pressing Ctrl B and I you can see that I have increased the cyan to plus 52 plus 3 to the magenta and 35 to this one and similarly for the shadows I increase the red I increase the magenta and increase the uh, blue and similarly for the highlights I have noticed the highlights and this is how I got this result and thereafter I created one curves adjustment which is over here and with this curves adjustment what I did I just open up the eyes you can see the exposure of the eyes so I clicked a point and open up over here thereafter I pressed Control I to invert that mask and using the brush tool I just painted over here so let me show you the mask so this is how I painted and now this is only affecting the eyes all right so thereafter what I did I created a merge copy of all of this okay and then I created another group and in another group this is basically a doze and burn group so quick doze and burn technique so let me show you how I did this after creating a stamp copy by pressing ctrl alt shift e let me show you once again ctrl alt shift e so this is a new stamp copy after the stamp copy I created one curves adjustment and in the curves adjustment I created one point in the middle you can see over here and click and drag it inside so that made the image darker and then I change this layer blend mode to luminosity from here so it doesn't affect the colors or saturation but only the tones okay and thereafter what I did uh, made it something like this not that dark something like this and thereafter created one more adjustment curves adjustment and this time we created one point in the middle and dragged it up so it is going to make the highlights even brighter and again change the layer blend mode to luminosity and thereafter I selected this mask of the first one you can see and then I went to the image and selected the apply image and in the apply image you can see this is the default option which you will get here you will see the blending mode as a normal and opacity 100% and layer mode is the merge and thereafter I pressed ok and the moment I did this you can see this white mask is now as a new mask so let me show you by pressing alt and clicking on this mask icon so this has created a mask something like this on the basis of our image so wherever you will see the white color that layer is visible and wherever there is a black color the effect of this layer would not be visible so thereafter what I did I clicked on this blank space which is over here and that would open up the FX panel and in the FX panel there is this blending blend if option so here what I did since this is a burning layer so where I have made everything to be dark so I want this layer to affect only the shadows so what I did I clicked on this this is the highlight part so I clicked and drag it to the left side and by pressing alt or option I just splitted this slider into two so that way we will not get the hard edges so if I just combine them together and show you you can see uh, this kind of a bending which you will see but if you want to remove this kind of a bending you just need to press alt and drag it back so that way the transition between these two would be very smooth okay so I have dragged it to this side so it only affecting the shadows not the highlights and thereafter I pressed ok and similarly you can see now this is making the shadow part even darker and similarly with the highlights because this is affecting the highlights only so I just double clicked it opened up the FX panel and in the blend if option I dragged this slider 
this time towards the highlights so that it only affects the highlights and again by pressing alt or option i splitted it and dragged it back to something like this so that way i won't get the hard edges all right and then after i pressed ok and then after i group them together and i even if i want to make the adjustment i can do that all right so on this we have not applied this a mask so for that purpose i selected the mask and then went to the image and apply image and then from the merged this time i selected the invert and pressed ok and now you can see now this one is looking much better so i selected them grouped them together and i can even lower down its opacity so that it doesn't have that much of effect right so this is how i created the doze and burn group so let me show you this is a very subtle effect but this is a quite useful to boost the details in the image all right so let me just delete this one and i have this one and thereafter i made a sharpening so for that purpose what i did i created a new merge layer by pressing ctrl or shift e or command option shift e and then went to the filter other and selected the high pass and selected the radius of around 1.2 or pressed ok and changed this layer blend mode to the vivid light all right so now what is happening you can see now it this layer has made everything very sharp okay and if you want you can apply it only to the face itself but what I did, I created a mask by clicking over here or while holding Alt or Option. So that way I got a black mask and thereafter I selected the brush tool, soft edge brush with around 100% opacity and using the white color as a foreground color and I painted on the eyes, lips and on this texture because I want this to be more prominent and more sharp so if I make it sharp this would be more prominent and visible to the eyes alright so I got this kind of a result after this you can see and this is our final result so thereafter I created one more stamp copy by pressing ctrl or shift e and this time right click and select it as convert to smart object and by pressing ctrl t right click and select horizontal so this time so this way i got two two sides of the same scene one is this side and one is on this side so i posted both of these on the instagram and i got so much love on these images i got so many likes so thank you so much and some of you even requested the tutorials for this so i have created this behind the scene video especially for you those who have sent me the request and if you have not followed me on instagram please do follow me on instagram and my profile is at harshwardhan art on instagram i keep on posting my latest work plus some photography and photo editing related tutorials some question answer and if you have any question you can ask me right there as well and i keep on posting these kind of answer and questions from you guys so please do follow me so i hope you have liked this video and this result and if you have any question you can ask me you can leave that in the comment section and see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing because here you will find lots of tutorial on photography and photo editing like this